The long punt that rolled down to the one yard line now puts the uh, Cowboys in the hole. Here's what happened the last time that Hutchinson had a throw from his end zone. Well, the defensive coordinators hate to have a team drop back and throw out of their own end zone because the field's too big, but the Cowboys paid the price last time they tried it. But they're going to try it again, and they dump it off beautifully. And running with the ball, and out to the 14-yard line is the uh, tight end, Tony McGee, who played for offensive coordinator Bruce Coslett at Cincinnati. And this is a great, timely play call by Bruce Coslett. Get Hutchinson out of there. Let him use his athleticism. Make sure he can get rid of the football. And Tony McGee, a nice veteran, solid tight end to get the ball to. Good play. That's his 311th career catch for Tony McGee. Almost all of them coming as a Bengal in his nine years there. Number 82. Five yard now the, uh, still first down. the Cowboys are called for a false start. A lot of false starts in the game. That means the offensive linemen are nervous usually. Well, Tony McGee got called for that after that light, nice catch he just made. And there you see Bruce Coslett. But this there. guy knows how to coach offensive football. When he had Boomer running the offense with the Bengals, they were, I think, I know they were number one in offense in the league at least once, I think twice. I know Boomer swears by him, and that's good enough for me. On first down, the pitch back. Emmett Smith is trying to go wide, and there's not a lot over there. And Emmett's knocked out of bounds with uh, 10 26 to play in the third quarter. Jaguars open the scoring, and they got the safety. Three, what, 33 four. years old or not, when you come up to tackle Emmett Smith, you better bring in everything because he's going to hit you back. Well, he's a guy, one of the rare players who's uh, elevated his career to legendary status. The leading rusher in the history of the league. Eight Pro Bowls. Four times the NFL rushing champion. Here is Chad Hutchinson. Moving well, dumping it off nicely. And the aforementioned Emmett Smith coming out of the backfield shows his quarterback an open receiver when he sees it's a fire drill. That is Smith all the way, getting free and getting a 12 yard gain. And Emmett Smith knows how to get open for a quarterback. And I'll tell you what, how nice is it if you're Chad Hutchinson looking for somebody to help and you have a legend waiting for you to throw the football to. Emmett Smith helping him out, and that's exactly what a good running back is supposed to do. Make yourself available when your quarterback needs you. So the Cowboys offense uh, starting to gain speed. Maybe coming of age, they started this drive, you'll remember, at their one-yard line after the punt by Hanson. Hutchinson, another play fake. Here's a penalty marker, long ball. And the defense is there. The catch is made. Then it's lost as uh, Reggie Swinton, who they don't go to often, uh, normally a kick returner, but one of the fastest Cowboys got his hands on the ball. But there is a penalty marker down in the Cowboys' backfield. I think this is going to be two penalties on the Cowboys. Yeah, a hold and an offensive pass interference. Swinton gave a nice little push off there at the end of that play. And I'll tell you what, Hutchinson displayed the arm on that throw. That was a long one. And that was a good play call as well. Hutchinson, nice pl play action Offensive fake. Offensive pass interference. Number 80, that penalty is declined. Holding, number 69, that penalty is accepted. 10 yards, repeat first down. So the Cowboys are set way back, and Chad Hutchinson has to dig in now as a Dave Campo, who is a defensive specialist. Right here, up at the top, watches. Swinton gives him a push. You see there, he just gave him a nice little stiff arm and then couldn't hold on to the football. And that brings up uh, first down and 20. Hutchinson stands in. Well, nice arm. He makes the connection with the ball is Mike Lucky. Ball almost deflected, but big Mike Lucky, a huge tight end at 6'6", 275 out of Arizona. Gets ahead for a 22 yard gain and a first down on first and 20. Well, I'll tell you what, Lucky got a little bit lucky. Watches Hutchinson tries to thread the needle right past Bryant. And Lucky turns up the field and gets the first down. What a play there. And you see now Dallas, I'll tell you, Don, it all started 
Did you see Mike Lucky there with that Galloway touchdown? This is one play that the team's starting to feel a little confident, and you can watch it snowball. Yeah, you can sense the confidence growing, and now Emmett Smith finds his way. Look at this as he finds his way into the pile and comes out the other side for a gain of 11 yards and a first down. Well, when it is all over for Emmett Don, there are certain things you remember. There are certain there are certain plays by Barry Sanders, by Walter Payton. This is the kind of run Emmett Smith. How does he do this? Got 16,000. He's 15 guys are standing within two feet of him, and he runs through all of them. I mean, that First guy is unbelievable. This could be a defining drive, really, in the, in the Cowboys season in the emergence of Chad Hutchinson. You remember, this started at the one-yard line. Back to Emmett Smith is now the offensive blocking front of the Cowboys uh, starts to take command. And Wally Rayner, a linebacker, uh, makes the Rainer. tackle, but after a five-yard gain. And you wonder, you know, Emmett, had told us on Fridays I can play two more years and I can gain a thousand yards in both those years if I get the ball and there are a lot of people including a couple of guys in this booth who think he's right uh, Dave no Campo question. wants him back to know his teammates want him back I mean this is the guy that still can be productive but will he have a star on his helmet well Jerry Jones said that's bad information everybody that's saying he's not going to be here next year he said that will all be decided after the season but they want Emmett Smith and now a sack as making the play is 94 Larry Smith another uh, former Florida Gator the third sack of Hutchinson today and this is third long and this one might be a little bit on Hutchinson's he turns around he's got to get ready to throw this ball a little faster you see he carries the fake a little too well right there the ball's got to be gone and he didn't like his options so he held on to it it saves the interception but it brings up a third and long. Third and long from the 46 yard line. Hutchinson sacked three times. Brunella, the Jaguars, has been sacked twice. Hutchinson, deep drop. They pick up Blitzers. He makes a throw in the connection in the first down. Kenyan Rambo. Another former Ohio State Buckeye like Joey Galloway is ahead on third and long for 18 yards in a first down. You know, this is the Dallas offense. You got to remember, it was the worst in the National Football League, and today they've got a spark. This drive started inside their own one-yard line, and this is the kind of thing that'll give you confidence. Great throw and catch. Hutchinson puts it right on the money to Rambo, and this is a drive that's been impressive. It has really been impressive. That's the first time today the Cowboys have had a third-down conversion. And Emmett Smith uh, seemed to trip Emma over Smith. a teammate for a moment, and then he gets to the 35 yard line, and a flag is down. Gain of one, fly down. Well, Dave uh, Campo, the head coach, said our job the rest of the way, as far as the way we play offensive football, is find ways to protect Chad Hutchinson because over these next six games, we have to find Illegal out if he's our guy. Number 58 defense, five yards will be added to the end of the run. Automatic. All first on the down. defense. Goes against the defense. Tom Coughlin's down. This is something he's not used to. All these penalties on his Jaguars. They're a very well-disciplined team, but the penalties have been a factor today. Both these defenses are good. Now the officials need to talk it over a little bit more. Slight question about the spot of the ball. Now they're going to move it a little bit more. Now they're set to go. John Pease, the assistant head coach and uh, defensive coordinator. He runs the Jaguars defense, but it's first and ten. So far this play, nine plays, 69 yards. Hutchinson rolls out, makes a look at the catch by Galloway. But a penalty marker's down. Marcus Stroud's going to get called for a personal foul. I don't think they're going to get him for a late hit, but he doesn't seem happy. And uh, Personal foul. Yes, it is. Roughing the passer, number 99, extending his hands and pushing the quarterback down. He better get cool That's because he'll get another that. one. Half the distance from the end of the run. Automatic first down. And he's not happy about it. Now watch, this is a plan. I think they should do more of this to the Cowboys. Get Hutchinson out of the pocket. He's got a, more than enough mobility to keep himself free of pressure. Yeah, and that's a late. You can't push the quarterback after the ball's loose. It's, he extended his arms, and that's the difference. And you, so you heard Larry Nimmer's 
explanation. He just extended his arms after the ball was already gone, and that's all it takes. Yeah, you, you, they protect the quarterback. Number one job of the uh, of the referee, and now they go with Emmett as the eye back. Up back is big Robert Thomas. He's the blocker, 44 in front of him. On first and goal, Emmett Smith works towards the end zone, and he is heading down and in. And as it has so many times before, Texas Stadium erupts on a touchdown run by Emmett Smith. But is there a marker down? It's going to be a holding on the outside, right at the goal line. Man's just getting notice of that. And what looked to be the culmination of a 99 yard touchdown drive is going to come back. Holding on the offense, number 88, 10 yard penalty, repeat first down. Antonio Bryant young receiver learning what it is to be outside on the run plays he comes off the ball and that's a spin around right there I don't know that looks like a push to standoff we had two guys holding. anytime the guy gets turned around backwards and they spin around like that they're holding on and I'll tell you what the defender is trying to get away on the run play so it now is uh, first and goal again from the 10 yard line this is only the first third time this season the Cowboy offense has had a first and goal only the third time all season in the 11th game. Hutchinson takes a look makes a throw connection down to the one yard line where will be second down and goal. Colin McCree stops Joey Galloway from scoring but it's point blank range now. The thing about Chad Hutchinson is when he has time to throw it seems to be that the ball always goes to the right guy. You see some quarterbacks throw into coverage. You see some of them throw the football away. But when he lets go of the ball when he has time it always seems to be the guy that he should be throwing it to. And that says a lot about his progress. The guys making uh, progress today is Galloway four catches for 114 yards one for a touchdown. Emmett Smith he's in. Offensive line blasts off at the snap, and Emmett Smith scores his 151st career touchdown. That's an offensive drive you can build on. Emmett Smith does one of the things he does as a Cowboy at this point in his career is teach a young team how to win. Well, this is a drive that a lot of teams can win with. Finished off by Emmett Smith on the power run right up the middle. Emmett's uh, third touchdown of the year. The extra point knocked up and through, and so now the Cowboys have placed the Jaguars and perhaps their season in deep trouble. As Emmett Smith found the payoff in, and the Cowboys build their lead to 14 to five. 